Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Goat's Milk Honey Ice Cream. This recipe is being brought to you as, as a result of a request from Clara who is after some goat's milk recipes. The ingredients are in the recipe box below, there are only four of them, so let's get started. For Thermo Chef Joe, we are just going to add our egg yolks. Don't worry about the egg whites, they're being used in a pavlova tomorrow. And our vanilla paste. I've showed you how to make that in a different video. And we're just going to whip these up, speed fire for 30 seconds, just so that it's well combined. And tip it back into our bowl. If you have two jugs, just leave it in the other jug. And we're going to heat our goat's milk and add this later. The little specks you see there are the seeds and things out of the vanilla paste. Scrape all that out. Don't worry about washing it. Now we're going to add our goat's milk and our honey to the same jug. Now goat's milk has significantly less lactose than cow's milk. Honey goes in now. And we're going to heat this until it reaches 80 degrees Celsius on speed two. Okay, after seven and a half minutes, our milk and honey mixture has reached 80 degrees. Now we're just going to pour a little bit of that mixture in with our egg and vanilla. And the reason that we're doing that is so that we don't make scrambled egg. We need to actually, what they call tempering the egg, which is allowing a bit of the warm liquid into it to get it used to the temperature. And once we've done that, we pour the rest of it in on top of our goat's milk. And that way you will avoid making goat scrambled eggs. So just pop our goat's milk back on. On speed three and 80 degrees, we're just going to drizzle our egg and warm milk mixture in through the open lid. Just turn that on. And just cook that for two minutes. Make like a goat's custard. After two minutes, we are just going to remove our frothy goat's custard from our jug. You can see it's thickened up significantly, and we need to chill this. Now, you can either put it into an ice cream machine or you can pop it back into your thermoshaft, whatever is best for you. Just get all those little vanilla seeds out because they will actually be distributed through the mix when it's actually finely mixed. So, we chill this now, and when it's semi frozen, we'll smash up those ice crystals again. Our Goat's milk ice cream is at the slushy stage again and it's time to give it its final blitz. So into the jug we go. 20 seconds on speed 8. We just tip our goat's milk ice cream back into our container and refreeze it. Okay, it's time to serve our goat's milk honey ice cream. So we just got it out of the freezer. It's lovely and creamy. Look at that. Pop it into our bowl. Give it another scoop. We're going to serve that with a brandy snap, and I've showed you how to make those in a different video. And there you have a Cheeky Richo's Goat's Milk Honey Ice Cream. Served with a brandy snap. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you, and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a little taste, shall we? You've got vanilla, you've got honey. It's more like a gelato than a creamy ice cream, but it does taste delicious. A little bite of our brandy snap. And they're all honey and gingery too. Thanks for watching. Yum.